Okay, here's another calculated field example. Oops. Actually, we have um, a couple different things here. We have the a function for average salary. Uh, actually, oh yeah, so not a calculated field, just a function. And then minimum salary, I think what they want here, well, here's how I'm gonna interpret it. I don't think they're talking about this min salary for position. They want, um, the when they say average and minimum of all job positions, I think what they're looking for is the minimum, um, the min function that we use to uh, find out of all the people with the same job position who has the lowest, not return min salary. Anyway, let me show you what I mean. So we've done average before, not a problem. Average of salary, and we'll call this one as average salary. And then we're actually gonna do a second function. We can use the min, and there's also max is available too. We'll do the min salary as minimum salary from, we need employee because that's where we're going to get salary. And then position title comes from position. Okay, what do we need with functions? Group by statement. Let's group by, uh, well, the rule is, if you remember, any field that's not currently having a function used on it has to be down here in the group by statement. There's only one position title. So I believe that's it. There we go. Each position, the average salary and the lowest actual salary from the employee table, not the min salary from the conceptual position.